Hi Calvary, Amber here with your word for the day. And today we're going to be looking at Psalm 48. And this is a celebration psalm, celebrating the fact that God is the defender of his people. Verse 1, it says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. And so the first thing that we see from this psalm is that we are to praise God. We are to praise him no matter what is going on because God is great and he deserves all of our worship and our praise. And we are to praise him not only for what he does in our life, which we should praise him for, but we should also praise him for who he is. The fact that he is the creator, he is good and righteous, he is pure, he is holy, he is merciful, he is loving and kind. And so we are supposed to praise him for who he is. And then the psalm goes on to praise him as the defender of his people. And so verses 3 through 5 say, Within her citadels, God has made himself known as a fortress. For behold, the kings assembled, they came on together. As soon as they saw it, they were astounded. They were in panic, they took to flight. And so these verses are describing God as a fortress for his people. And then it describes as enemies of God's people came to attack them, but they were safe in the city of God and God's people didn't have to do anything to fight because God fought for them. And so is, do you live life as God is your defender? See, God wants to defend you and fight for you and protect you, but that means that we have to trust in him and that we have to surrender to live life God's way. And so what that means is not taking revenge or retaliating, but trust that God has pure justice and he will fight for you. It means not taking matters into your own hands, but trusting in God and taking everything to him in surrender and prayer and waiting on his timing. It means not living a life full of worry and fear because we can trust that God is in control and that he is good and that he is for us and he has already won the victory and given us that victory through Jesus as our savior. And so today I pray that you live life seeing God as your defender and your fortress and your strength and that you are able to praise God through everything because he is greatly to be praised. I hope you have a great day, Calvary.